This short video is about using metaphoric questions to come into a richer experience of yourself uh, before and during and after a meditation. So as a starting point, rather than the general metaphoric question, what's it like, it's quite good to use an element. And one of the most useful starting elements is water. Water comes in many different forms uh, from the most sort of subtle and refined. You could say that uh, a rainbow is water. Uh, it's very very fine mist with light shining through it of course. Uh, mists <laughs> are water uh, and on the other end of the scale you have uh, ice and icebergs and polar regions which are also water but frozen. And so in between you have a wide range of forms that water takes. And so water can be seen as a very direct experience or metaphor for experience. So for example uh, just to say a few, uh, one can feel like a very narrow canal. It's moving but it's all very narrow. Uh, one can feel like a stream that uh, has got spray and it's moving but there are obstacles, there are rocks in the way. There might be a deep flowing wide river going to the sea or the sea which and in its different forms and expressions. It might be rough and wild and <coughs> tempestuous or it could be still and calm. It can have light shining on it. It can be clear, it can be muddy, it can have all kinds of tides uh, and so on. And in this way when you start to get the sense of water as being expressive of moods or states of mind, states of energy uh, and even feelings, then you're starting to get the sense of how the metaphoric question can put you in touch with uh, how you are in a richer way. Uh, and the image can speak very directly. So using a metaphoric question has uh, a very sort of simple uh, process really. You, first of all, as much as you can, you come into a whole sense of yourself, how you're feeling on every level, your, your body, your general mood, your mind, your energy. And then you ask, if I'm water, what kind of water am I like? And you just wait. And you just, it's like an, inv the question has been like an invitation for an image to emerge or a sense to emerge. It might not be exactly visual. Some people it is, some people it's just a sense of water and that's fine. And when an image or a sense of water arises, you just get the sense of, does this fit? Does this image really fit the experience? It might be there or it might be just a little bit different. And it's not absolutely necessary to have a word like tempestuous or calm. That's not ne absolutely necessary. The important thing here is that the image gives you a way of coming into what it feels like to be like ice or like a mist or flowing or deep or full of spray and splashing. And that then helps you come into the sense of yourself a bit more vividly and uh, a bit more directly. So then you can let the question go 
and just stay in touch with yourself and then start the meditation. And you, you can do the meditation and at the end of the meditation you can re-ask the question. And very often the, uh, the image that comes or the sense that, of, that arises with the image is actually very different in some way to the one that you got at the beginning of the meditation. And over time doing this uh, at the beginning of the end of every meditation, you start to get the skill, you start to get the ability and the proficiency in engaging directly with your imaginal faculty as a way of helping you come into a more vivid and real relationship to the qualities of mind. So in that way, linked with the, uh, the previous video on, or the video on um, qualities, the imaginal faculty can help you be conscious and come into and recognize nuance of difference between different kinds of qualities over time. And in this way, you can get a sense of yourself in a, a very direct and experiential way.